I'm going to give you some more examples. This time we'll be looking at Disney movie, uh, The Little Mermaid. And I picked The Little Mermaid because I like copying poses that are ballerina dance poses. And they're great examples to do gesture drawings from. So this is Ariel Chan right here, and she's dancing with her prince. I'm sure a lot of you have seen the movie. So, how to go about drawing an aerial in the general gestural approach is quite simple. That we have started with the head. I started with the head, as you remember, and I gave a wrapping line for to show the eyes that we see on the figure. Now for the neck, I do the same thing. I come up from the neck as I draw a gestural line for the neck. And now I am paying attention to what her body is doing, or what her torso is doing. As the, you see, the torso will be right here. The torso, as you can see, is uh, from the viewer's perspective, it looks straight on. But it's not straight on. If you draw the gesture, she's trying to dance and she's also trying to turn her body around in, because she's dancing. So what I see is that her torso is pushing this way. She's pushing this way and she's trying to push her pelvis the other way. So I draw a gestural shape of what the skirt will be. See, this is her torso coming here, and then I see a gestural shape going the other way, and it's pushing this way. And so I make a line here to get the skirt in, and you can see I'm making many lines, and this is okay. This is what you want when you're drawing the gesture. I'm putting a line here for the shoulder, and I'm going to put in an indicator for the pelvis. And now I'm going to draw in her legs. I'm seeing through the drapery. I'm seeing through where her leg will be. As I get to the foot, I will come in here and I draw an opposite line. So it came from here and it came from here like that. And I'm going to draw on the other foot. Again, drawing through the drapery, as I see, as I have x-ray vision. And I end the gesture right here. Now, I have to make sure this is on the ground. So I'll make sure that this is on a ground plane. Okay. Now, you can see the skirt is quite long. So uh, what I do is I draw extra lines to make sure that the skirt is in correct uh, proportion to what I'm seeing in the reference. Okay, so we can see the movement goes from the head to the, the neck, to the torso, to the pelvis, and to the legs. And you can see this balance from here to here to here to into here. And you can see from the, from the still shot frame from the image of the movie, it doesn't look that way, but when you're drawing in the gesture, it does look that way. And this is how you achieve movement. Okay, to get her, uh, to get her, of course, I have to draw also the tilt of the head. I forgot to do that. And to get her limbs, pay attention to, I'll put this in a darker color. To her limbs, we go up from the, the the line I made for the torso, and I go up through here like that. And remember, I make the lines much much shorter so that you can see that this is receding and, and moving towards you. So I can draw a volume in like this. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and reset so I can get in the other limb. And I'm going up like this, and this, and this. It doesn't have to be too complicated. Just a short series of lines. Now, uh, to get her, I'm just going to put in her hair. 
to add a bit of character. Uh, to get the hair, the hair has to sway in the same way and direction as the skirt. So the hair isn't just drawn in, and perhaps early, we draw in the hair in the same bundling direction as the, the skirt. It has to match the skirt, as we see here. Okay. For the man, the prince, it is just a easy, simple series of lines. Let me move this over here. It doesn't have to be too complicated. We just draw the man in like so. So just get in here. Very simple lines that move through the body like that. Okay. And that is our first look at the Little Mermaid movie screenshot. And in the next section, I will give you another example right here in the next movie.